In this lesson, we're going to talk about exponents. Now, exponential expressions are used as a shorthand way of indicating repeated multiplication. So, uh, if I wanted to multiply 5 by itself four times, I could, of course, write it out like this, but a shorthand way of writing it would be to write 5 and then put a small 4 kind of to the right of your 5 and, and, and up toward the top of your 5. And this means the same thing as 5 times itself, times itself, times itself. So this number here in general is referred to as the base of the exponent. And then we refer to this little 4 up here as the power or as the exponent. And so if you're in if you encounter an expression that looks like this, 5 a little 4, um, you could say this in a few different ways. You might say 5 raised to the fourth power. Or maybe more simply, just 5 to the 4th. And pretty much any exponential expression you're given, um, the way you would name it kind of follows this pattern. Um, there are a couple of exceptions. Um, if I put 4 with a little 2 there, you could still say that is, say, 4 to the 2nd. Power. But another way you may see this written is 4 squared. And so when you see that word squared, it means to raise whatever number you have to the second power. And um, if I have 6 raised to the 3, you could again say something like 6 to the third power. But another way you might see it written is as 6 cubed. And so just be aware of those two vocabulary words. Squared means to the second power. Cubed means to the third power. Now if you're asked to evaluate a particular exponential expression, so, for example, if you're asked to evaluate 2 to the 5th, what we're going to do is just simply write out what 2 to the 5th means. It means multiply 2 by itself so that there are a total of 5 2's in the expression. And then from here, because of the associative property of multiplication, you can just start multiplying whatever you find convenient to multiply. So if you want to multiply those first two twos, great. I think I'll also multiply the second two. And I guess this very last two kind of has to just drop right down. Um, I could multiply 4 and 4 to make 16, but I think it'd be even easier to multiply 4 and 2 there to make 8. And so I get a total of 32. So 2 to the fifth equals 32. The last thing that we need to think about um, when it comes to exponential expressions is when our base is 10. So let's just write this out. When the base of the exponent of uh, the exponential expression is 10, the power, or exponent, is the number of zeros in that power of 10. OK, 
Okay, so what this is saying is let's suppose I give you 10 to the seventh. If you really wanted to, you could write out 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10, and then start multiplying those tens uh, using long multiplication to eventually get to the answer. But what this little trick is telling us is that if you see 10 to the seventh, you are going to know ahead of time that the answer will be a 1, followed by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 zeros. Again, you can do the multiplication to confirm that, but that is exactly what it'll turn up to be. So then 10 to the 4th, you simply write a 1, and then 1, 2, 3, 4 zeros. So this is a, a nice tool for this section, but it'll also help you quite a bit, um, particularly in Chapter 4. So remember this nice little fact.